day and day and night bugging. Bugs out, bugs out. Big two bucks. Check the real, real flavors. Call me unexceptional for smoking and joint. We had this uh, the main story that we have today, the hundred hundred million deal. Aish, my G. Right, the hundred million deal. All right. <laughs> Firstly, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I want to start off by saying um, they say you must start off with love. Yeah. So I want to start off with love, man. I want to give props to Casper. Uh, Casper for a dropout is even not even a dropout for just a fucking genius when it comes to marketing especially the marketing of music and self promotion nobody touches casper yeah that nigga is on another level nobody touches casper we can debate about his music and if he's good at edit or you know debate the songs um debate him going to drill and all of the stuff but when it comes to marketing nobody can beat that nigga and the self promotion that, that guy. guy believes in himself wholeheartedly he's realized that he's a brand on his, on yeah, his own yeah yeah so, so i want to start off with that all right and and give him his props on that shit <laughs> now let's get to the 100 million dollar oh rand deal rand yeah all right um personally i get why that number was thrown around. I get why, and it starts from him being a marketing genius. Mm -hmm. All right? That number is the number that got the story popping. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, this deal is similar to what Usomizi has with Ipatu. Yeah. Right? But look how much this has trended and look how much people have opined and opinionated on it. Detraction. It's because Casper decided to put out that 100 million figure. Mm -hmm. As soon as you put a million in something, people wake up and yeah, stand up yeah, and be like, yeah, what the fuck what's, is going what's on? What's happening yeah. here? Yeah. And look, I've, I've been in, involved in some business. Some have failed. Some have, have, have been good. Um, but to be honest, this is not what this is this is smoke and mirrors mm -hmm. this is smoke and mirrors um who is it like yeah Lekau. yeah Ulekau was actually uh spoke to mcgy and um he did say that at first when mcgy asked him he hesitated okay he couldn't really explain how because mcgy asked him like okay how did you guys get to 100 million 100 million he's like um i spoke to to Casper uh, before, and we decided that we're going to talk about it. He also goes on and says that the hundred million is projection, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's it's projection of what they think, what they doing would generate. Because mm -hmm. he used an, a, an example and said, if we had to sell, let's say, t-shirts or whatever, and whatever revenue we make, let's say we're selling an item for two thousand, and then we sell a uh, hundred thousand of those you understand we'll get yeah, to yeah, those numbers yeah so it's a projection it's mm -hmm. not what it's worth at the moment yeah then the next question is um actually in fact uh before we get to the next question i wanted to read this quote from um from ukespa because this quote actually explains a lot um Kesper was speaking to utj jaws um which is on uh McGee's uh, McGee's uh, McGee's platform, yeah, uh, network. If you wanna call it a network, mm -hmm. uh, they don't re relate to it as a network. Yeah, they say it's platform, just shows. Yeah. You understand? But this is a quote that um, he says we actually only agreed on the morning that let us just mention the amount because because um, I'm not a numbers guy. I'm just a guy in the background trying trying to get the work done. So yeah, it's just a product and a contract worth 100 million uh, of, of product. product. Pay attention. Yeah. If it's a sneaker or a t-shirt that is worth 2,000, oh, this is what uh, Uga was saying to um, Mekji. Mekji, yeah. All right? He says, if it's a, a t-shirt and a sneaker worth 2,000, we're going to make ones that are worth 100 million up until that particular term ends. 
so that is how we came to 100 million. If one trip is a thousand, we're going to manufacture 100,000 trips, and then it's uh, 100 million. Mm-hmm. So the deal itself is worth 100 million, blah, 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 blah. I wanted actually to get to what O. Casper himself said, all right, because that's the important. That's an important one, which I think, because for me, it's his idea to re, to bring out the number, bring out the right? Number, yeah. And since he's a marketing genius, he knew that as soon as there was that number there, people are gonna pay attention, yeah. and people are gonna wanna talk about it, uh, which which in, in, in fact um, gives them free marketing. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so Casper said, so basically, I'm in business with Drip. We started talking a long time ago about the shoe, and then we developed a crack into a bigger than a shoe and bigger than music. And we started basically a whole entity, a whole new entity between Family Tree and Trip. And the deal we are embarking on is worth 100 million. The reason why we mention the number is because we always shy away from numbers. In the meeting that we had, we said, why don't we own the numbers? Why would we be shy of saying how much the deal is worth? And me being myself, I said the number and I confirmed the number. I mean, Lekau is a different guy. He likes to be low-key. He's all about business only, so I can confirm the number. The details of the deal are partially confidential because of him. I can't tell his story, but the deal is definitely worth that much. Okay, so basically it's a projection, which both, both parties agree on. Confirm, yeah. All right, now the question is, he says they want to own the number, which is 100 million. <coughs> Why do they mention the number? And how do they mention the number? All right? The way he says it from that quote, the nigga, if they were in their meeting, he, just, he was just like, this is 100 million. This is going to give us 100 million. He okay. didn't look at the, the previous sales. He didn't look at the profit margins. He didn't look at his brand in total. He didn't look at uh, mm. Drip as a brand in total. He was just like, he was so excited about the deal. He was yeah. like, this is worth a hundred million. No, no, no. But what I want to get to is why did they do that? All right. Marketing. Because let me tell you, I was watching the press conference. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, o Slicker actually ran it as a as an IG live. Mm-hmm. All right. So what happened was that one of the people that were there um, asked the question. He the question was, I have seen reports that the deal is worth a hundred million. Can you confirm that? All right? And then Casper confirmed that. Mm. Okay? And then the guy carried on and started saying, you know, I, I feel you guys. You're coming from the dirt. We're proud of you and blah, 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 blah. So the 100 million, for me personally, that guy who asked the question was planted there. Okay. okay. He was planted there because he says he's read that the deal is 100 million. Yeah. From where? Exactly. Because it wasn't announced. It was never announced. Which means when it was not announced, it was not printed. Which, mm-hmm. which, 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 where was it? Where did he read it? it Unless he was, asked, he was asked to ask the question to, so that we get the number out. Mm-hmm. All right? Because even after he asked the question, he didn't ask the question which is any person would ask. Like, okay, how do you guys get to 100 million? If he was genuine about the, the question. So he says, I've seen 100 million being banded about, or I've read that 100 million has been banded about. Can you confirm? Casper confirms. The next question to any person who's thinking, or a true journalist, would say, okay, how did you get there? Exactly. All right. So the next thing I want to say is, this guy's, who Casper mentioned the number, because personally, I think, they're still going to have to look for the money. For production. They're still going to have to look for the money. Right? And and for them to access those rooms where they can ask for the money, for them to be taken seriously. Mm. If you saw the whole announcement, it was like watching a movie. (laughs) Casper being driven there, coming out like a... A fucking mafia boss, mm. you know, mm. with the coats and that. You understand? It was all so planned out. And the main thing that they were there for, it wasn't about that they're going to work together. Because them working together, everybody works together. Yeah. Understand? When Ul Somizi and 
Ibatu, um, uh, collaborated. And when they collaborated, they actually had a product. Mm. They were more advanced than what our Kespa are at. Mm. They had a product to sell, right? They just sent out a statement, a press statement. Mm. Because we see these deals, we see collaboration all over the place. We see, but I'm, th- I'm saying, these guys, they needed to do this to get into rooms that they wouldn't have been able to get into with without the, the fanfare, without the big... Without, yeah. You understand? Without the big hoo-ha. Yeah, yeah. W- without that. And on one, that's the one end. The other end, I can understand the synergy between the two brands, okay? Who cares about is going full-time into a piano? Yeah. Full-time. That's a local manufactured South African sound. Sound. This is a local brand, mm. right? Drip is a local brand. They've got similar stories from the dirt to the top. Yeah, mm. so the synergies are there. Now, it Drip itself has opened, I think it's up to like 12 shops now. Yeah. They're like opening a shop every month. The latest in, in the Val. Yeah. yeah. They, they're like opening a shop every month. Now, the question is, they've only ever had one design. Mm-hmm. They've changed how they print their name on those designs. But the design the hasn't changed, mm. right? Now you've got a brand which is going authentically South African, and then you've got it drip, which still has to develop their own mm. brand. It's not a, it, it's a brand, but it's just a name. If just you think about name, it, yeah. I understand. So they need to diversify and get more products in stock. Mm. What better than to go with a family tree, right? And have those clothing. So they're going to start looking like sports scene type of shit. Yeah. Understand? So you're going to have the shoes and the clothing and other apparel, the, the caps and all of that mm. stuff. Understand? Who mm. Casper with the family tree? Casper has always wanted to do a brick and mortar, a shop, not an online shop, yeah, a, shop. a shop. That's why he's had so many pop up shops. Mm. He believes, you can see, he believes in seeing the people and interacting with the people and people coming in to buy, mm. right? Now, these guys have got nine shops already. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make, a, it doesn't take a genius to see why there's synergy between the two, mm. right? And I'm saying, for me, that announcement was about them making a huge splash so that people can take a, a, take a, a notice and the people with money can take notice because they're gonna need the money to do what they need to do. They were they were writing their business loan with that with that press uh, press statement. They were basically writing their business loan. Of course, yeah. of course, that, that was it. Of course, because now if somebody if they go into a room, people know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. They know the, the pitch is halfway done. Exactly, I understand it. the pitch is halfway done. And for me, I wanna I wanna just shout out to Ukespa. Uh, we might have differences on his music, but this move, this is a fucking classic Boss marketing move. genius move. Boss move. And no, there is no 100 million business. <laughs> that is a fact. That yeah. is a fact. Smoking they, mirrors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Smoking you, mirrors. You, but they, they, they got what they wanted. They got free publicity. We talking about it yep. three days after the fact. Wow. Right? We're talking about it. We're quoting. We're looking for the information. And we're making up our minds. So they've got what they wanted. And out for that, I want to give him, man. I want to give him. Amen. <laughs> what does he call himself? Don't get done be biliato. That guy, I think, <laughs> I think in terms of, um, uh, there's this big movement of men. What is it? Manifestation or whatever. Yeah, many manifesting. Manifesting. Yeah. He's he's the biggest proponent of that. I understand? Because even that name that he calls himself, he's trying to manifest that billion billion shit. Yeah, yeah. He said that he wants to, to make a billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and even the, the entrance to do the whole thing, man, it was yeah. It's on some mafia shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right, all right, nigga. I'll see, see you. I'll yeah, see man, you. yeah, man. So congrats to Kespa, congrats to Trip, uh Likau as well, Family Tree. Yo guys, it's, it's for me it's probably gonna be successful. Yeah. It's got 
the biggest chance of being successful. We wanted to be successful. Yeah, yeah. It's got the biggest chance to be successful. And again, the guy is breaking new ground with what he's doing. Yeah. Because I think it's going to go beyond just making one shoe. It's going to be a big collaborative um, effort on a number of items, mm. which is which is going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Yeah, which is going to be dope.